theory, do 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 do. Film theory, do 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 do. Film theory, film theory, do do do. Film theory, do 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 do. Film theory, do 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 do. Film theory. Hmm 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 hmm. Huh? I'm gonna tell my dad. A few moments later. Oh, wait a minute. You're, you're the dad? Funny, you guys don't look related. Uh, 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 what do you mean? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Just, just, just stay away from my, uh, son. Huh, well that was weird. Seems like there might be something fishy going on there. Oh well. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Film Theory! You're welcome. That song is now stuck in your head for a week. If you want to understand what it's like to be a parent, it's having songs like this on repeat for hours at a time, over and over again. And of them all, none can top Baby Shark. It is undeniably the most popular song in the world, being YouTube's most viewed video of all time by a massive margin. 9.2 billion views. Billion. Despacito? That's in a distant second with a mere 7.5. 5 billion. The 2016 music video for the song by Pink Fong went absolutely viral, and it has crushed view algorithms ever since, which is all kind of funny since the song Baby Shark is actually in the public domain. No joke, its origins date back to the early 20th century as a campfire song used by camp counselors and the music rights technically aren't owned by anyone. So, uh, sorry guys, Film Theory is now rebranding itself as Baby Shark Theory, where we're just gonna start churning out dozens of versions of the song to the tune of millions of views. Hey, I gotta catch up to Pink Fong's 51 million subscribers somehow. Speaking of, if you could just, uh, you know, take a big old bite out of that subscribe button to help me swim in their wake a little bit, it'd be incredible. I know our content isn't quite as quality as a bunch of rehashed kids' songs, but if you like having your childhood shattered on a regular basis and having cool stories to tell to your friends, that subscribe is gonna be pretty darn useful. Just saying. Anyway, what we're focusing on today isn't the song, but rather the music video made by Pink Fong. On the surface, it looks like any other music video aimed at young kids. Simple animations, bright colors, really overacting children, but if you bother to look closer, and let's face it, what else am I gonna do after contributing 700 million of those 9 billion views, start to notice something off about this family of sharks. I'm proposing today, dear theorists, that Daddy Shark and Mommy Shark are not Baby Shark's biological parents. The whole song is just one big lie. Baby Shark is adopted, or maybe even something more sinister is afoot. A, a fin? Anyway, don't you run away. Way, because today's theory is gonna be a do 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 doozy. I'll start off by removing the obvious factor, the shark's colors. Every shark in the video is a different color, which helps kids distinguish between them. Daddy shark is blue, mommy shark is pink, baby is yellow, you get the idea. And in truth, there aren't many sharks in the wild that come in those colors. There is a blue shark, a lemon shark, and even a bronze shark that appears as orange, but I didn't manage to find any green or pink sharks like grandpa and mommy, therefore I'm not using it as a factor in my investigation. But even without the color, you can immediately tell that something is off about the music video. Here's a picture of Daddy Shark, Mommy Shark, and Bobby Shark. Bobby Shark. Bobby Shark, do 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 do. Illegitimate cousin, do 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 do. Black sheep of the family, do 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 do. Go away. Here's a picture of Daddy Shark, Mommy Shark, and Baby Shark all side by side. What do you notice is different about them? The areas that stood out to me were their snouts and caudal fins. That's the tail fin, in case you weren't sure. Starting with Baby Shark, we see that he has a smooth connection between his body and his snout, and his caudal fin is shaped like a crescent moon, with a smooth connection between the top and bottom parts. Now let's take a look at Mommy and Daddy Shark. Both of them have more defined snouts, notice the ridge right there, and both of their tails have prominent breaks in the middle, making two defined sections rather than just one. And those details aren't just aesthetic, they matter. When identifying different shark species, two areas that you can focus on are indeed the snout and the caudal fin. And so the fact that baby shark has different features than his parents immediately says that they're not the same species of shark. But he's a baby, he'll change as he grows up, I hear you shout, and if they were humans, yeah, you'd be right to think that. But sharks aren't like humans. When they're born, they basically look how they're gonna look when they're older, just a lot teenier. Not like us, where our features develop as we get older. Something that high school MatPat is very thankful for. But to know for sure, we should probably identify our shark species. And while caudal fins and snout ridges are certainly part of that process, for this one we have to pull out the big guns. So it's time for everyone's favorite segment, drumroll please! 
pixel measurements. Yep, today we're going old school, calculating the shark's actual size in order to prove what species they really are and to show definitively that they are not related. If you're unfamiliar with how pixel measurements work, we basically need to find something in the video that has a standardized set of dimensions. This then allows us to figure out the equivalent size for each pixel of the video, and from there use that information to calculate the size of the objects we really care about. In this case, the sharks. And with the baby shark video, finding a standardized unit of measure starts a bit tricky. It's a video underwater, so there's a lot of organic foliage and sea life, nothing really with a clear and consistent set of measurements. That is, until I realized what the pink fong mascot is wearing at the start of the video, a snorkel. And fun fact, snorkels have standardized sizes. According to the European standard EN 1972 from 2015, adult snorkels can only be a max of 380 millimeters, or 15 inches in length. For children, that number is smaller, only 350 millimeters, or 13.8 inches, because they have smaller lung capacity. Considering the pink fong character is clearly small and childlike, I think it's pretty safe to assume that this is indeed a child snorkel set. So measuring the length of the snorkel, we get 367.88 pixels. And if we divide the real world length of 350 millimeters by this pixel measurement, we can see that each pixel is going to be 0.95 millimeters or roughly 0.04 inches. We can then apply that measurement on Baby Shark, since we see both the snorkel and shark in the same frame. In that screenshot, Baby Shark measures in at 1,252 pixels. Multiply that by the length of the pixel and we wind up with a shark that measures in at 118.94 centimeters or roughly 3 feet 11 inches. Now that is one big baby. There's only one kind of shark that would give birth to a baby of that size, and that is the longfin mako shark. Their babies on average tend to be between 100 and 120 centimeters, or 3.5 feet, exactly what we just calculated. Every other shark is either born way smaller or way bigger. A great white, for example, is born at around 1.5 meters or 5 feet in length. Ginormous. And that's not all. The longfin mako shark also happens to have a smooth connection from body to snout, as well as a less defined caudal fin, exactly like we see with Baby Shark's design. So already we're starting to see some real results of our analysis, but now it's time for the rest of the family. In this screenshot from the video, we see all the sharks together, and now that we have Baby Shark's length, we can use him as our new ruler to do a whole new set of calculations. You all understand how it works at this point, so no need to dive into the numbers. Fast forwarding to our results, Mommy Shark measures in at 195 centimeters, or 6 feet 4 and a half inches, and Daddy Shark is just a wee bit smaller at 183 centimeters or just shy of six foot. So what does that tell us? Well, for both mommy and daddy shark to actually be a mommy and a daddy, they need to have reached sexual maturity. Longfin makos like baby shark reach sexual maturity at just under eight foot long. And yes, most resources seem to measure shark maturity in size rather than age. I know, it's a little bit weird, but I guess in the world of sharks, size really does matter. So with mommy and daddy measuring in under those marks and considering the caudal fin and snout differences, it just doesn't make sense for them to be Makos. So if they're not Makos, what species of shark are they? I believe they're bull sharks. Notice the more defined snout, the sharp indent in their caudal fin. They're a perfect match. And so are the sizes. Did you notice how mommy shark is bigger than daddy shark? Totally normal in the shark world, including with bull sharks, which honestly means that the song is actually sung out of order. Biggest jaws should be coming from mommy shark. But anyway, back on track, the sizes also work out for bull shark maturity. Male bull sharks reach maturity between between one and a half and 2.3 meters, or five to 7.4 feet, while female bull sharks reach maturity between 1.8 and 2.3 meters, or six to seven and a half feet. Exactly the ranges that we just calculated for mom and dad. So there you have it, theorists. Mommy and daddy shark are bull sharks, and baby shark is a long fin mako. You are not. <laughs> and not only does the science hold up, but it's totally plausible that these two species of sharks would cross paths, considering that the long fin mako and bull shark share territories, living in tropical climates near the equator. Case closed, friends. Theory confirmed. Baby shark does indeed belong to a different family. But why then? Why would baby shark be living with a different family than his birth parents? Could it be that mommy and daddy shark killed baby shark's real parents and adopted him as their own? It's unlikely. Sharks don't raise their young. Male sharks
sharks peace out after mating, and the female sharks disappear almost immediately after giving birth, which would leave baby shark alone to fend for himself almost immediately. Sharks don't really do the whole family thing, which explains why baby shark would be alone, but not so much why he's in an actual family unit with other sharks. The fact that you have this troop of sharks, grandma and grandpa included, swimming around together is definitely weird. So then why then would they do this? Well, let's look again at their sizes. The largest one, mommy shark, is just over six foot. Certainly big, but not huge. Now, we normally think of sharks as these apex predators, meaning that they're at the top of the food chain. And yes, they do tend to be, but there are still animals who will attack and feed on them. Other sharks, like great whites and tiger sharks, and even killer whales are more than double the size of our baby shark family and have been known to feed on smaller sharks if those runs trespass into their feeding grounds. In other words, what I'm trying to get at here is what if the baby shark family was all about survival? They say there's safety in numbers after all, and this behavior isn't unheard of among sharks. One report I found spoke of a school of seven gill sharks working together to hunt large fur seals, and another spoke about how a group of bull sharks teamed up to muscle down a tiger shark that was in their feeding area. Black nose sharks are also known to form groups. There unfortunately weren't any reports that I could find about sharks forming groups with other species of shark, but if they do it to take on larger sharks and for hunting, it's not unreasonable to believe that it could be possible. In other words, what if the baby shark family, this family of comparative runts in the shark world, formed a family unit so they could defend against predators, take down bigger prey, and maybe even overpower larger individual sharks? I mean, clearly it's worked. Both grandpa and grandma have reached a ripe old age. Mommy and daddy have reached maturity, and they've even managed to help out a new baby shark left all alone. Maybe that is the real message of the baby shark song. It's not about the dance moves or the catchy tune or the child actors overacting and horrendously mismatching their lip syncs. It's that actually family isn't about who you're biologically related to. It's about the family you choose to have and the importance of staying together despite the odds. It's about being stronger together than you are apart. That the sum is greater than any individual parts and that through it all, family persists. I don't have friends. I got family. At least until Baby Shark grows up and eats everyone. You see, there's a problem with this family unit, and the problem is Baby Shark himself. As we established earlier, Baby Shark is most likely a long fin mako, so right now, he's a small four foot shark. One foot smaller than the grandparents and nearly two foot smaller than mommy and daddy. But it's not gonna stay that way for long. Sharks, as a species, never stop growing. All the way up until the day they die, they are growing and growing. But not all sharks grow at the same rate. By the time baby shark is seven, he'll have reached maturity, landing at about 245 centimeters or eight foot in length. Mommy and daddy at this point will be close to their fully grown size, just slightly above that. But baby shark will keep growing into his adulthood. A long fin mako can get up to nearly 14 foot long, 417 centimeters, much, much larger than his bull shark parents. So either mommy and daddy are gonna have to turn on their son to kill him before he gets too big and becomes a threat as sharks are scientists scientifically known to do, or Baby Shark is gonna keep growing and is gonna end up attacking his smaller, elderly parents. Either way, things do not end well for the shark family. Long story short, there's blood in the water, and you know what that means to a shark. But hey, it's a theory do 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 film theory do 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 film theory do 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 and cuts. Make sure you chop that subscribe button below for more mind-blowing theories about all your favorite childhood movies and videos. In fact, click the button you see on screen right now to learn all about how the cars in cars aren't actually cars. It's true, but to know what they really are, you're gonna have to click that button. I'll see you on the other side.